Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back one more time tonight just to give you guys a quick update on my jailbreak status, and this time I have some really good news. So with this update, I have successfully managed to install the Electra jailbreak and have it install Cydia. So just for a refresher and for those who missed it, in my last video, I first off announced that there is now a public iOS 11 jailbreak utility for all 64-bit devices running iOS 11 to 11.1.2, just like my iPhone 10 is right here. Then to install it, I had you guys install the IPA file through Cydia Impactor, have you trust the developer certificate, and then head back to the Electra jailbreak and click jailbreak. But from my last video you guys saw, I was unable to successfully jailbreak and I received this error simply saying error to Panga. So I just wanted to make this update video to show you guys that I successfully got the jailbreak working and then I wanted to let you know how I've removed said error. So when tapping jailbreak and going through the jailbreak process initially, the screen you should end up on looks somewhat like this and it says APFS snapshot created and this is going to be for a tool that allows us to semi-restore our jailbroken device back to factory defaults, and Coolstar said he's going to come out with this in the future. But anyway, that is why we're having this error in the first place, is because this jailbreak in particular scans the entire iOS operating system and makes sure it is at its factory default state. So if there's any extra files at all, it will give you the Tupanga error. Not necessarily if you just install the Tupanga jailbreak, because there have been users reporting that they're receiving this error, even though they did not install the Tupanga jailbreak. So to fix this Tupanga error, I not only had to re-uninstall Tupanga, which if you guys need help doing that, I have a video down in the description of this video to show you exactly how to do that, but also all the third-party tweaks that I installed manually I had to go back and uninstall all of those manually once again just to remove every trace of everything that I've modified myself on the file system. Very lastly, I actually had to go in and uninstall Electra Beta 3 using the unjailbreak script. And so basically I had to reinstall Electra Beta 11 so I could SSH into my device. Then once I'm connected, I went ahead and opened up a terminal window, entered my password which is Alpine by default, and then went through the steps to run the script to uninstall the Electra jailbreak entirely. And if you want to see this process in a little bit more detail and see the exact terminal commands, I will have more detail in the description of this video for you guys. Now this was, of course, uninstalling Electra Beta 11, just to clear up any confusion. Anyway, once all those steps are taken care of and your file system is back to its default state, now you should no longer receive that error. So once you're at the screen, all you have to do is click continue jailbreak and then the application will finish up the jailbreak process and then begin installing Cydia on your phone and once it is done, then your device will respring and when it is done respringing and you are back on your home screen, you will see the Cydia icon is present. So I'm just going to real quickly get rid of all these other applications that were on my home screen that I tried to use to fix my problem that I was having. But basically, in a nutshell, all I did was remove Topanga again, and then I went back and removed all the tweaks that I manually installed, and then I ran the unjailbreak script to remove Electra Beta 11. Anyway, that is what it looks like and what it should look like when you're done installing the Electra jailbreak. And now I'll enter into Cydia, and as you guys can see, it opens up and reloads data. And the first thing you're going to be prompted with is to do a complete upgrade, and I'll go ahead and do that right now. And just click confirm to show you guys that installing packages works perfectly fine but that comes with the warning. These packages I'm installing right now are just the ones that are essential to have Cydia running and that need to be updated. I would highly suggest not to install anything right now from the Cydia store because not too many repositories have been updated and not too many packages have been updated for iOS 11 or this jailbreak. So it's very easy to boot loop your device as a substrate with safe mode. It cannot be installed and there really is no safe mode currently enabled with this jailbreak. So if you install something that is not yet supported, your device will go into a respring loop. Now in some cases you can get out of it by simply restarting your device and entering the non jailbroken state. And I actually had this happen to me already just by installing Anemone, something that was supposed to be supported and that Coolstar has updated today. And that update has already been pushed to the Big Boss repository. 
Anyway, I'm shocked it didn't work. It sent my device into a boot loop and then I had to manually delete this version of the jailbreak and then reinstall Electra Beta 11 just to enter a jailbroken state with SSH capabilities. Now this and older versions of the Electra jailbreak have safe mode, but this brand new release that just came out today does not have a safe mode with it. And that sort of surprised me. But with the old version installed, I was able to SSH into my device and then manually delete the files that I just installed with Insidia and then go back and delete Electra Beta 11 and then reinstall the release that just came out today. Anyway, with that warning, don't really install anything right now until it has been updated or until we have a full safe mode for this jailbreak. But anyway guys, in the end, we can't overlook the fact that we now have a public iOS 11 jailbreak utility which installs Cydia, and Cydia is fully functional. Now it's just a matter of time for tweak developers to come around and update their tweaks to run on iOS 11. Hopefully here in the near future, we will see a safe mode for this jailbreak, and I will be the first to update you guys if anything changes on that note. Anyway guys, stay tuned. I will be doing a full comprehensive video explaining the background of the Electra jailbreak, where it came from, and how we are here now, if you guys missed it at all. Anyway, stay tuned for that video. Hopefully in that video, I will be able to successfully jailbreak and have it work on the first time for demonstration purposes. In the end, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting this channel. Take care. Have a good night. I know this was a crazy night and had a couple crazy errors getting the Electra jailbreak to work, but we have finally managed to do it, and Cydia is finally running on my iPhone 10, and I really can't express how excited I am to sit down and play with it a little bit now that I'm done making this video. Anyway, guys, take care, and until next time, this is Tony, signing out.